fighters are teaming up all the time in Dragon Ball Z, now players can team up in the real world too. The ARG Circuit Series is proud to present Team Wars. ARG will track your six person's team's progress throughout the entire Dragon Ball Series Circuit event. They'll tally the scores for each team through the finals. Teams earn points for every win. Each team accumulates points for their team every round. A win nets you three points, a draw one point, no points for a loss. The two highest scoring teams will face off on ARG's Twitch channel after the Circuit Series main event live. Each team can have a maximum of six players and each player must wear a matching shirt or jersey. For a full list of rules and prizes, go to ARGCircuitSeries.com and look for Team Wars under the Dragon Ball Super category. A saint has no limits. Do you? Prove to the world that your team is the best by participating at the ARG Circuit Series Team Wars. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to the top four of the ARG Presents. Dragon Ball Super Regional in beautiful, sunny. Beautiful, sunny. Beautiful, sunny. San Jose, California. We're here for top four. We got an amazing uh, game for you guys. We have William on the left. Just took down the fan favorites, Danny Hype, fan playing favorite. Mecha so Frieza. Sad. I'm still sad. I can't, I'm still right, right over it. And then on the right, we have Boris Burkov. Burkov. Uh, Not sure oh, how to pronounce his last name. Yeah. I just like to, I just tried to like try to say it with like Russian accent. He is Russian, by the way, which is really cool. Um, but he is not playing Super Saiyan Three Goku. Yeah, he is not. He is playing Mecha, Mecha Frieza, Mecha Apes, actually. To right. Be, right. To be exact. So, so it's Apes versus Apes. So Apes versus Apes. This is going to be a, a, a monkey showdown. Don't forget that you guys can catch E oh, on. I'm sorry. Hill. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, he's playing Veggies. So I was misinformed. Oh, He's okay. actually playing Veggies. He used like the same well. build as uh, Chris Abella yeah. and uh, Alejandro Mena. He pretty much used the same build. Uh, except he's playing Monaco, Ooh. because the other two weren't playing. Interesting, interesting. And uh, don't forget that you guys can go to ARG Circuit Series yes. Facebook page and check Absolutely. out the second game. First time in Dragon Ball Super Regional history, we have both games being streamed at the same time. At the same. Same time. Eon, it's Eon Hill on that side. At the same bleep time. Undefeated. Still has not lost. <laughs> Eon, Eon Hill, Hill is still is, undefeated. Wasn't he like number one yeah, after undefeated. standings? Yeah. And then undefeated. he's still undefeated. It's so crazy to me. So we got a four horseman and we got a PPG player in the top four of the largest Dragon Ball Super Regional Ever. to date. And it's just so insane. It's insane. Like, it's Super hype. It's awesome. A beater player just got taken down by, by Boris. I think uh, somebody else on the other bracket took down the other bearded player. Yes. So they're all out. All that stands is a four horseman, a PBG player, and two of which I don't know who represents who. But right. So here we go. But whatever the case is, we have Mecha Frieza winning we this do. event. We do. Mecha Frieza Mecha has officially Mecha Frieza has won the largest official. Dragon Ball Super <laughs> Regional ever. To so, no to no one's surprise, I would hope. Yeah, no, I, I wasn't. I mean, I was actually surprised. It was, it yeah, was a rogue it was, deck going yeah. into this event. <laughs> it was definitely a rogue deck going in. We had no idea we had no uh, if idea. it was going to be I, good. I thought there was going to be more Ginyu. There was no Ginyu. That's right. Absolutely. That all the Ginyu players just jump ship and just Which went is to good. Mecha. I mean, it's, it's, it's good that they, uh, you know, that we got to see um, this draft leader do well. Yes. Uh, because next that we have Herkel, which is probably the you know the the best leader in the game. That one thousand front side and five thousand back side is probably unbeatable. Hercule's gonna be uh, outrageous. Herkel, this is the next yeah. Mega Freeze. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It might just pre-ban it. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah. Boris here charging a Goku Black and then an explosive Sun Goku. That's Ooh. pretty interesting. We don't see that very often. The old uh, the old green into yellow. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Boris has a very um, uh, unorthodox playstyle. Playstyle. Yes, correct. The you Russians. You will be questioning yourself. Throughout the entirety of his match, well, I'll tell you I, what, I promise you. He's, in, he's in top four, so the only thing I'm going to be questioning that's what I'm saying. No, is that's what I'm I need to start taking some notes. Otherwise, I would have said bad, but he's here, so it's unorthodox, and he's actually, and it's unique, and right. he's obviously very I actually like this play talented. a lot. I like this play a lot, and I'll tell you why. It's because if you play Cobble on two, you open yourself up for uh, Cobble Lust. This is something we saw yes. Chris Abella do a lot. Yep. You know, he, Chris Abella just chose not to charge anything. He's just like, I'm you going to tell you what energy I'm going to play. Right, right. So, yeah, I mean, it's a very, very good play. Uh, by Boris. So we're going to see exactly how this matchup plays out. Once again, we've already seen this matchup, you know, uh, play out in the past, but Boris playing something unique here, uh, a Trunks on one. Right. Uh, the, the Trunks is very good at looking, you know, going through event cards. You know, it was bad because, it, you know, it does get rid of event cards sometimes that you really need. Sometimes you ditch a Monaka early, you ditch a Sense of Being early. But late game, it's actually really good because it actually sends some of those dead events Absolutely. to the yard. 
So it's a double-edged sword. It can actually fuel your yard for overrealm and maybe thin out what you want and don't want because with Saiyans in this deck, you can combo with all the Saiyans. Right. Or you can Shigesh all the Saiyans. So Absolutely. you just get a card that hits, you're fine. And if you you know end up hitting a card, uh, the, the beautiful part about Trunks is the ruling is you can see... Uh, you can just see one card. Like right. if you see the first card and it hits, you can actually keep that card. Yeah, something we talked about in Swiss that I think people are unfamiliar with. When you play the one drop trunks, you you don't have to look at both cards. Yes. Right. You can exactly. look at the first card and be like, I want to give this. This seems good. And then that's it. Right. You know, yep. you don't you don't want to deplete your deck of any additional resources. So that's super cool that uh, a lot of people, including me, didn't know yeah. going into yeah. this weekend. No, absolutely. No. Yeah. And as the game gets bigger, and as the you know uh, the the judges and the players get better at reading the rules and reading the format of the cards, uh, you know we will start learning those little nuances, you know, of the cards. And it's like it's I love seeing the game evolve, you know, yes. from 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 Same. Hartford, the first ever Dragon Ball Super Regional, to the last one we have in this set of them. It the game the game and the players have evolved to such a great place. So no, absolutely, and it's super cool. Uh, right, Bandai absolutely. in the building. In the building, the Bandai. They are ready for the finals. They are ready they, to go. They, they want to see something cool happen there. And uh, I love we want it. nothing else but a PPG player hopefully there. So we're, we're going to cheer on Boris as much as we can. We, we want to see Eon on there too. Obviously, I want to see the Four Horsemen get into another finals appearance. Right. Uh, Anthony Absolutely. being that first one. And it's just really exciting. You, it is. you want to see these big teams just show out on the big stage. And, and even even Danny did a great job. Um, Trey, for most of the event, was oh, yeah. just dominating. Well, the cool thing the cool thing about uh, about uh, about Danny's deck and, and Danny's play and stuff is I think he showed that even though a a, a format is is completely dominated by a deck, it doesn't mean you can't have innovation. Yes. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, um, the. If Danny would just come in here and took the event by storm, all Mecha has to do is just put bad rings in their deck, you know, and they beat that deck, right? Yeah, yeah 100% right. beat. So it's yeah. still, I mean, it, obviously it's not... It's just a surprise factor. Right, exactly. It shows you that, you know, you can still have... Why playtesting is important, and innovation is never dead. Um, and so, yeah. But we're going to see a uh, Battle of the Giants here. Uh, not not a soft top four whatsoever. We have some uh, pretty, pretty serious contenders. And we're going to see what Boris does here. He, he is up to four energy, and he has two yellow, which is really, really awkward. I really I really see veggies go to four energy, let alone that's two of I'm, them being yellow. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, usually it's like two green, a yellow, and a blue, and that's it. That's yeah. like they never played any more energy. Um, so it's interesting. Like I said, I promised you an unorthodox play style. And I will say, I will say with Boris, though, I mean, Kobolus is pretty terrible in this matchup, right? Like, it doesn't really have... Lie, really, yeah, it's, yeah, it's one of the worst. <laughs> not going to lie. Not very good. It's very good on, against the science too, but that's in... Sure. That's, in uh, that's his energy, so... Okay. So two cob in the field, one one drop. Okie dokie. See what we're gonna do here. We see William charging another scientist who we saw him do it against Danny. Seems like it'd be yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it seems like it'd be like a go to charge for him. Yeah, no, he's just like see it early, charge. Charging it. Ooh, it, it William does. paying five for just King Vegeta. Mm. Interesting. Sometimes you're in that position where you just yeah. need to have that King Vegeta out. You feel safe. You I'm feel like nothing can happen. But do you to think you. do you think you're safe at four life tapped out against veggies? That seems very and veggies has four energy. That seems scary to me. I see, if I if I'm William, I'm terrified. No blockers on field. My opponent's not even awakened yet. That's weird. He 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 paid five and played an ape and what's next for our heroes? All Who's right, Boris. Boris is gonna go get probably Shagesh. Notably, William did not even choose to attack with the Mecha Frieza, No, which he would have drawn a card off. Uh, it, it seems like a recurring trend here against veggies. You just don't want to awaken them. Right, right. And I, I, I don't know if I. I mean, I, I get it. Okay, you don't want to. You don't want to awaken them. You don't want them to awaken. But like, you're against Mecha Frieza. They're going to awaken. Exactly. So like, the the more damage you can do to them, um, the less free cards they get out. Yes. Right. And especially against veggies. Veg the veggie player has no blue energy. We talked about this before. The mecha variant that gets hit the hardest by having less life is veggies because yes. they run cards they can't actually even cast half the time. Yes. Right. So sensu beans, exactly. for example, mm -hmm. right? 
Um, wow, another Kaba. Another Kaba. Triple Kaba. That Triple Kaba. That's one, uh, one, that's one energy, energy kills. kills. Not too bad, as hey, it turns that's pretty out. pretty fun. Yeah, pretty balanced. Zero I don't think there's anything wrong with Khalifas. it. Huh? And that's going to be good because this Kaba, if it hits a Khalifa, nope, doesn't even revol resolve. William's like, nope, not today. And he's going to go down to three life and just. Do you think that's the right off. choice? Wait, wait do. Mm. If I'm William, do I. Yeah, you have to. Because you look, if, if that Kaba resolves and hits a Khalifa. Then it's just going to be downhill for William because then Boris hits the sweet spot, goes to four, awakens, draws two. It's just going to be an ensemble of cards yeah, into, into Boris's yeah. hand, and it's just, you know, it's just something that you don't want to see. So he does, he does have the the one, the one cost. Going to three, going to three is pretty, is pretty. Like, it's scary to me. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's scary, scary to me right now. I mean, I don't know if Boris runs Sensu beans in this deck, but he could just literally like attack with Kaba Sensu here, and he's back up to four energy. Especially and, if, especially if William has not resolved a march. Yep. Speak of the devil. Yep. Boom. The and beam. what's scary too? I do. I do now see Champa yeah. in no, Boris's no, hand. No, so. No, it's even, it's even. Do see a Champa. Yeah, Champa. Champa might just just come out of left field and just steal this game. I don't know if. Uh, obviously, they saw each other's deck list, you know. But um. Hey, Shigash. Right, this, this was a. Uh, Gonna Shigesh on a 15. All right, that's pretty odd. But Boris is going Boris, to nice. Cobalt Cobalt lost it. Uh, Say whatever, think, whatever think, you play. I think Boris just wants to go in here. Attention, Dragon Ball Super players, that is time in the round. Okay, so William's gonna choose to put nothing in play now off of the Cobalt. And then the Shigesh 10k combo will protect William from the 15 power Kaba. So no additional combos or steps needed there. Um, I don't know if that was a premature cold bloodlust by Boris, and he also had energy to pay for the cold bloodlust. So, mm -hmm. not sure he why he decided to go down to three. Maybe he just wants to see more cards here. But I, I hope he realizes that that kale's not going to be able does to Boris, like, do anything. Does Boris play the Monaka in hand right now and go to two life? He gives his leader double strike, which could be pretty devastating. I mean, obviously, I don't think he, like play right now. That's why. Uh, but I wonder I, if he can bait out an attack off another combo. I think he should have paid the yellow energy for the for the cold bloodlust right. and then paid. The life for the Monaka. Then he would have went to three. Right. But because if, if, if he can knock William to, to go, two, he, to go to he has two different ways of double yeah, strike. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So I think you're gonna go here and you're gonna go attack with Kale, try to take a card from William. Then you're gonna Monaka on the leader and just go all in. So I think that's his game plan here. And we're gonna see if he does it. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna go for the attack on Kale here. And William's gotta have a response. We'll see if he has it. Does he have another Shigesh? He is tapped out. He's at three life. So. See what William has here, contemplating some options. Not gonna get the card draw off of uh, off of the uh, the kill. Unfortunately, not. Yeah, no. which is something I noticed that you don't do a lot with Mecha Freeze. Since you have 15 cards in hand the whole game, a lot of times you don't get down the five to draw. Mm, yeah, that King Vegeta is so good just because you can just do an unbreakable Sun Goku right. and just draw a card. It's a free super combo. <laughs> free free super combo. It's a free super combo. <laughs> free super combo for everyone. That's eight. Yes, That's eight not super four. combos. Eight. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Break, breaking them rules is what he's doing. He's a freaking rule breaker. These these eight these eight super combos. What's that for? Huh? I don't know. Somebody just like dropped it off. All right. So Boris in a position here where he wants to put his opponent. Right. Oh man, he plays a free Khalifa. Takes the Wow. Gets the Shigesh off the life. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boris can just go wide here, and I think he just do because Williams tapped out. He's at three. I understand that, but Boris is at two life, and he still has a Monaco that he can use here. Um, but if you're Boris, you got to put your opponent on. Like, yeah, and he also he has yellow to standing, so right. he can still play another. Cool he wants to get him. If he wants to get him to two, he has two different ways to do that. Twenty-five k, perfect, perfect amount. Oof. Yes, that's great. He's gonna go up to thirty-five. So the unbreakable Sun Goku is going to stop that, and yep, he's going to go and look at the top two. And he's going to get that Goku Black because that Goku Black is going to be game if he has a Shigesh. He needs to have another Shigesh. If he has another Shigesh, he's got it. But I think that's enough combo power for now. Yeah, I don't sure. think I don't think he want to take the Khalifa because I, th I think he's going to Monaka here. I think his I think his game plan is to knock knock his opponent to two and then Monaka. Yeah, but William, I think William has a Shigesh explosive Sun Goku combo, which would be quite unfortunate here. Boris is tapping for 20, 25, 30, 40. 
Yeah, Shigashin the explosive on Goku, and that's gonna stop the kill. Um, William didn't really give an opportunity for the bloodlust, no. But regardless, I don't think Boris has it. Yeah, it's hard because we can't hear the players, you know. So it's possible they just did it verbally. Regardless, doesn't see like it doesn't seem like Boris has that. But I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I think the Monaco is a little bit too preemptive here. But. Wow, he drew, he drew a bloodlust off the top of his deck. So maybe Monaka Monaka ing just earlier probably would have gotten Boris the game here. And Boris is still gonna pile on here and try to attack and get that last life in, but uh, William has a has a barrier blocker now, and he, he definitely still has cards in hand that you can use. Any 10k combos are reduced by one so a Williams 10ks are actually not the worst here but it looks like wow he, he actually baited out a kid Goku block and Borges is gonna be like no combos and Williams is gonna be like okay I lost it and another cop is gonna go in here and try to take down his final life that he needs to cake in order for that mecha freeze to really just go in for game so we'll see how things play off here Boris with a bold strategy but he still has one more attacker technically in the trunks All right, we're back, boys. Bandai's getting excited, guys. Yeah, Bandai's no, it's... getting excited. They can't wait for this final. It's going to be awesome. So Boris still trying to get this final life here. So Is he, he still trying to get this thing? <laughs> <laughs> Boris is trying so hard to get this. I've never seen someone try so hard in my life. I'll tell you what. You want to get in there? Put those dusty tokens in there. Yeah, no, definitely. So you should yeah, slap those, those right into that, that combo. He was calling for reinforcements, and he, he got them. That I let him down? That so I let him down? Is that what happened? Yeah, I know. In the form of some shadow dusty tokens. Guys, yeah, definitely special thanks to uh, Travis Lipman for the artist of those tokens. And Wicked Creations. You guys can check them out on Facebook as well. Who did the, the formatting on the cards, like the the light, like the uh, the power, like the, the where the art goes. Looks amazing. They do custom they do uh, custom cards, custom leaders. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Uh, Facebook group. Wicked Creations, just an amazing, amazing group of guys. Another bloodlust here from Boris. And okay, looks like Boris might be trying to go in maybe with the black, the Goku black now. Well, do you, do you go in with a token? Uh, right, because you because you, you want to keep something up for the Champa, right? Because you want to you want to hope in theory you want two double strike sources. Remember, he used Monaka. On I know, the but, but you want two probably, right? Right. Um, so you might want to try to. Oh, this can't be correct. Maybe did he forget me. It's okay. No, it's okay. May, hopefully William forgot. <laughs> <laughs> May, hopefully William Wait. forgot that it is monogamous and he just takes the two. He takes the two, and goes point, the one. Like, yeah. And you, then you then you all in off the fifteen. You go yeah. to twenty twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless, double striking here, like you just never want to take a double strike, even if it's for lethal or not. Like this is not for lethal, but you still don't want to take it. You know. So we'll see if uh, William has anything, but we see a sensor beam from William's hand, so that's gonna. Wait, that's this gonna is be lethal deadly. now. Yeah. This is actually lethal now. If, yeah, if, now it's if, lethal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But uh, of course, Boris. I don't think uh, Boris comboed. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he didn't. I'm just saying that like, that's something to remember that if if Boris would have maybe comboed a little bit, then it would have made it so like Sensu could have saved him because exactly. if he Sensu, he just dies. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so we have. Uh, 15k, 20, 25, 35. You have 35 double off of the off of the uh, the Terrasite possible that we know it's in Boris's hand. Yeah, well, he's still in death range. Like, uh, Absolutely, now that's what I'm saying. That the, the, this Terrasite token, the Terrasite uh, Goku is still is lethal currently. Yeah, and I don't think William has access to another Shigesh explosive without Goku. Uh, the only thing that William might have is Flying Nimbus, but I think I saw the Flying Nimbus in Boris's hand, not William's, but I, I remember seeing it this game. Yeah, so you, th you think Boris is trying to decide right now, like, 
No, he has to go in with the Goku Black. You think so? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't think he, you think he can pass and just try no, to? No, yeah. no, no, no. Sure. He's dead if he passes. He just has to go for it. Here. Yep, there you go. There you go, bars. All right, 15k. No negates. No negates. All right. So here comes the combos. Yeah, there's 25. Like I said, from what we know, he can get to 35. It's possible he can get higher. 35. 45. 45. 50. 50. William, you got it? Yeah, William has, I think, four cards in hand. So it is. I have to say that combo uh, area looks he really sexy with those dusty tokens. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I think I think that's the main reason why he might even live or not uh, kill his opponent. Actually, I'm sorry. I think his opponent is going to get another ape off of that. That's unfortunate. Wow. Finds an ape off the ape. That probably is probably going to probably going to discard the Manaka in hand to be able to uh, pay for that. Oh, that's fantastic. And uh, well, there's the Manaka. He does have. Yeah. yeah, there you go. He just has to the there you go. Okay, there it is. Mm -hmm. He still needs uh, 20 more. He needs 20 more to win this battle. Yeah, he needs... Um, the thing is, Boris is over 35. So that means William has to put in 40. Yeah, it gets, it gets another 8, but this one's... This one's... Uh, this one's King Vegeta. This isn't going to, like, search anymore. I mean, yeah. this is just so the card. Total power of 50 versus 25, and yeah, looks like that's game. Not enough power from William. It looks like Boris got it. Sweet. Definitely yeah. unfortunate. So Especially the power of Vegeta, though. The Vegeta no, combo. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, that that, but being able to get, like, just out of nowhere, 10, 20, 30, like, yeah. you can right. chain those, right. and they're all free. Yeah, and they're, it's, so, it's so good. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, I was actually really, I mean, I, I, I think getting, you know, Vegeta into Vegeta, into, you know, uh, King Vegeta is very over curve. Um, but I was very surprised when he taps out five into veggies that he was able to su survive that turn. I mean, yeah. the fact he, he was able to hold off that onslaught for as long as he did is very surprising. I think he matched there, right? He matched the combo because he had three apes yeah, and the sensor beam. Yeah, 50 yeah, 50. Yeah, so it was an even, it was a tie on that combo. Yeah. He was so close to just Jeez. living because of the beam. Jeez. So that's really crazy. Yep. Boris. Going into game number two. Game number two now. Uh, you can see what veggies could do. And I don't think we've seen this from veggies really on stream, even all day yesterday. Right, right, right. We haven't seen. Veggies is supposed to do this. This is the whole right, point right. of veggies. Just go wide and just like attacker, 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 attacker. And it's just. So Boris, so crazy. Boris up 1 0. Boris up 1 0. Yeah. Very good. Super excited. He deserves it. Not many people know. Boris is already an ARG champion. Ooh. For Yu-Gi-Oh. Ah. ah. Go do that. Plot twist. Go, go and do that dual game, huh? That dual game, yeah. No, I mean, all PBG players are dual gamers. 100%. It is. I mean, I, I think Great Apes and Veggies is right. like a 50-50 matchup. And I think that's why it was so hard for a lot of players to decide between the two for this event. And I think that's why they they showed out as much as they as much as they did. Machine Mutants actually, yeah, super super exciting. Machine Mutants I think is something that uh, the one the hearts of like a lot of a lot of players. Absolutely. Yesterday, Absolutely. Yep. even me, I was just like, damn, Machine yeah. Mutant seems cool. It did seem and I'm really sure, cool. And I'm sure Peter was back home just like like a kid in a candy store like, oh, my God, I yes, Dr. Yeah. Mew, somebody's doing it, yes. <laughs> because I feel like if you actually would have came, that he would have actually just played Dr. Mew. Right. And it's just so crazy. Absolutely. And what's really what's really cool, too, is uh, you, you have <laughs> – you have so many like neat decks that's popped up in this in this uh, in this tournament. We had uh, the Machine Mutant deck, which was really cool. We had a Zamasu who bubbled almost bubbled in. Mm -hmm. It was one of one of only three no, X twos that make it in. Yeah. We have Danny's uh, Z uh, Zeno uh, Trunks deck. 
it was just it's awesome you know to see uh like i said even in like this, even in like, like over some model, odds yeah. like just literally like having such an oppressive leader currently in the format you know, people are still trying to uh innovate yes you know, try to, so it's, it's always not, a great time yeah so i'm really excited to see where this format goes afterwards it's gonna be crazy super exciting it's it's going to be crazy and then tournament powers right around the corner Ooh, tournament power uh, it's gonna be i'm like super i'm like super excited for that set I think it's going to be so cool. Terminator Power brings a lot of things to the table, and Flavor is one of my fa favorite ones because uh, I love the Terminator Sour, ar uh, a Terminator Power arc. That's a good and candy, though. Tournament of Sour. Tournament of Sour. Tur tournament, tournament. Oh sour. yeah, buy them today, yeah. local Walgreens. Your taste buds will <laughs> be erased. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, that was insane. We did it, baby. That was great. Yeah, we should just make fake commercials. Fake. <laughs> uh, I think that's our calling. <laughs> Screw this. <laughs> but yeah, it's Absolutely. gonna be a fun time. Uh, that's gonna be great. I, I can't wait for more spoils. I think more spoils come like in a week or so. They've been spoiling like universe by universe, like color by color, which is like super super cool. It's so cool. Uh, I love the I love the methodicness of like spoiling. I, I feel like spoiling is something that's like missed from a lot of games. Like I know Magic does a great time like joint spoiler season, just like. You know, hyping up the cards and letting people know like what, right, what to right. come up yep. and like you start brewing them. You go to dbsdecks.com. You make the decks, and as soon as they get spoiled, it's just like boom. Mark puts them on DBS decks, and it's just you could just start making decks. You can just start putting those creative juices into the mix. Also, don't don't forget, guys, that you can go to the ARG Circuit Series Facebook uh, group for Dragon Ball Super and watch the other top four match live. It's Eon Hill. Uh, undefeated actually has not lost a game all tournament insane so crazy to me that's like, awesome great players to go through yeah. this many rounds and not lose a tournament i mean not yeah, lose well, a, if you're uh, top a four, how many rounds is this nine and then that's nine plus, uh, plus what, one four? two plus five three four five six i think six you need to go like six oh to so, swiss to win so yeah so it's uh so i think like so four. it's 15 is it fi yeah. it's 15 and oh it's like 13 Oh, okay. I think it's 13. So it's, it's 13 and 0? I don't know. We, I don't know how to math at this point because uh, there's right. too much. <laughs> right. too, <laughs> such a stressful day already today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not good 14? at math in a good day. 14 and 0. Record Ralph 3, the Tournament of Sour. <laughs> We're doing it. Tournament of Sour Candies. <laughs> All right, so going into this match, we don't have those deck lists anymore. Um, yeah, it's a it's a it's a rare you know, situation. We yeah, get it was a rare. Yeah. yeah, you know, but we'll see. We'll I have them for the final. We'll have them for the finals. I can only assume that uh, Boris is going to be putting in some uh, father son coming out my house. Oh, I, I need to do. I'm sorry, guys. I, I think that card's just fantastic. What is, what is it? What father, does it do? Father sons. All right, so the father son is a is a one energy green card. Okay. Uh, it helps it helps with the self awaken, and it's just really good because. If you play it, it can KO a battle card that has a higher cost than the energy that you have available to you. So, in the case of um, any Apes player, when they resolve March of the Apes on two, or even three, or even four, they can resolve it on four. Right. All the Apes are four energy. So, once you play one of those four energy Apes, and you have either four energy or below, all those Apes become a target to, for that Father Son coming out of and just KOs them for one green energy. Or... In Mecha Frieza, just take a life. That's it. Just just use your life sometimes to just help self awaken, like wrap like obviously turbo out your self awaken at the same time as disrupting your opponent's like in synergy in their turn right. and their setup. And I think that's one of the more powerful things that Father Son Kamehameha brings to the table. And it's so powerful that Anthony made it all the way to top sixteen with four copies made. Oh yeah, Anthony was playing four. Remember, it was really bad against I can't Danny. Believe, I can't believe you didn't sign him. I can't believe you didn't sign him out though. Sign yeah, no, I, I, I me neither. I, I just don't. Maybe he just didn't sign. Maybe he was just like, "F it, I'm not gonna sign," you know. But all right, Boris off to a pretty good start. Not too bad. I've seen a lot of players um, using the uh, the uh, the scythe Goku. Uh, Goku Black for um, for energy. I actually like that card a lot against apes. That card is insane. Just because, one, it, it's great energy early. I mean, it's a green card, obviously, so it's good. But it helps with those pushes, and you saw it in the last game. Like, Boris needed some attackers. 
Goku Black Scythe got in there, and it's essentially a 25k, and it's just so good. So like, 25k, good. if just for that one turn, that's fine. You know, like, yeah. all I need is one turn, especially in this format, and that's all he needed, you know? Like, even if you don't combo all on the Goku Scythe, like, you can com use the combo power for any other card, or you can use it defensively and throw a 5k here and a right. 5k there, and then, you know, whatever the case is, but um, the card is just modeled perfectly, and I really wish... That people would be playing more Zamasu's in the main deck with the Goku Black just to get that That's extra so 5k. Cool. So just cool. to get the extra That's 5k, so cool. yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And we saw yesterday, I don't think you were on stream, but somebody actually cast it. Like, after playing Goku Black, they searched the two drop Zamasu, yeah. right? And then they played like another Goku Black later on, or just drew the Zamasu, I forgot, like the seven drop one. And they, they fused <laughs> for five energy, and it took two super combos from his opponent's hand, and that was like the best thing ever. That was like my, the highlight of my day. At the end of the day, it was just like it was like the final match too. So I was like, oh, it couldn't be at a perfect time, a right, better right. time, you know. So um, yeah, Boris here with a Trunks, and it looks like he did he hit a Planet of Vegeta or no? No, it doesn't look like he hit a Planet of Vegeta because it looks like he double Planet of Vegeta down to six. Right. right. And um, a cop is going to come down, and uh, Cold Blood is going to go flying out of the Mecha Apes player's yeah. hand. I mean, that's very very common. I think Boris played around it very well last game. I think this game he probably just wasn't able to. Yes. You know, it's a lot of times your, your hand dictates what you're allowed to play around. You know what I mean? And sometimes, you know, my guess is that Boris just has a second combo in hand. Ooh, special delivery. DBSDecks.com. We must have somebody's deck on there. I wish my, my phone was still alive. Oh, Boris's deck. Cool. All right, so uh, a little twitch, uh, a little uh, present from DBS decks in the chat. For those of you who want to check out Boris's deck, you can find it right on DBS decks. Nice with picture wow. images and everything. Check it out. That's pretty neat. Fantastic. Two, it's two thousand. I don't 2000, like reading. You know, uh, I don't like. I don't like gentlemen. trying to decipher people's handwriting. You know, like it's, 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 it's really it's, tough. It's, it's really tough. tough. Yeah. And I, and I give it to Mark for trying to decipher all these <laughs> handwriting. Yeah, that sounds like the worst situation ever be in. It is really, really bad. Uh, you can imagine when people sign up for tournament and they just write, you know, like they just like write on a sign up sheet. That's even worse. Because names could be anything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But like deck list, it could only be like one type of trunks or one type yeah, of like Goku you see a lot of, or whatever uh, the lot case of tournaments is. and a lot of games have online registration towards, like, yeah. uh, towards like you have to have the number. You know what I mean? The, the set number or whatever for yeah. the cards. Because like, like, that's something that's hard to mess with. Yeah, like, yeah. It's hard. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Ooh, a Sun Goten for Boris? That seems pretty... Uh, pretty uh, spicy. Yeah, the thing is, it only hits the King Vegeta and, yeah, like... Which can be important, though. No, it's good, but I, I don't see Mecha 8 players really, like, leaving the King Vegeta. Like, just chilling, like, hey, guys, I'm on board, blah, 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 and then next turn, you know, playing it. A lot of times, it's just, like, aggressively, you know, like, the Mecha 8 player will aggressively play the Shigesh, go into the King Vegeta... Search the big king, uh, the ape king Vegeta, and then just evolve that same turn. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I think it's just better against decks that like play. Oh snap! Battering laser. Okay, Boris showing exactly how you should be resolving battering laser. Mm -hmm. Discarding the yellow card. That happens no matter what. Even if your opponent bad rings your bad ring, you have to discard the yellow card and then taking the life, because you cannot use that life to battering like you can't just be like battering i don't have a yellow card oh snap i got a yellow card play the yellow right. you know like that's something that you have to just discard immediately actually, and then sure, sure. Yeah. yeah yeah exactly that'd be wild though could you yeah, imagine no exactly it's like uh my only out here is this bad ring resolving play bad ring let me get let me let me fish my life really quick no, but yellow you, card but, boom but you, but you can do that with flying nimbus right uh, i don't uh, yeah, because it's a different sentence, I think. Right. It's not a cost. So you can play Flying Nimbus and just, like, not even discard a card. But, like, because Bad Ring Laser, you can't just play it and, like, not discard a card. You have to. It's, like, part of the cost. It's, like, a package deal, right. you know? It's a package deal that comes together. On Flying Nimbus, it's just, like, I play it. Okay, you know, I, I can choose to discard if I like to, but you need to pay the cost first. So you have to pay the cost for the Flying Nimbus, and then you can choose. You could finish resolving it all the way to the end if you like. Interesting. All right, so we're going to see what goes on here. It looks like
Boris has a Shagesh and a Khalifa. The Khalifa is going to play for free. He's going to go down to three, which I think this deck can get away with more more often than right. not. Right. But I still just hate it all the time. Like, every time I see a Veggies player, like, like play a Khalifa to go down to three, I think that's, like, the wildest thing. Yeah, I get it. But I feel like monocking down to three is like a little gives me a little bit more justification. But like I'm playing a sure I'm playing a zero mana twenty k, but I'm taking a life, which I, I don't know. Like I, I want to use my life, like you said, the veggie player doesn't. They got to use their life as their energy sometimes. Right, right, they do. They really do. It's a very unique way to play. Yes, it's like one of the few decks that do it like that, which is cool. I think it's really neat. I think it's one of the reasons why uh, Danny was saying during, with his deck, he actually likes playing against veggies. Because like once he resets them, there's a lot of cards they can't replay. They can't play Khalifa, they can't play their Sensu, you know, because like they can't replay a lot of cards. Yes. Boom, Williams deck, um, both of them out in there. <laughs> DBS decks working overtime from home. What a boss. By the way, congratulations to DBS decks for his uh, new bundle of joy in his family. Oh, new bundle of joy, yeah. a bundle of curiosity or yeah, I guess whatever him you can call it. Him and his wife just had a new baby, uh, which is amazing. Bundle of joy, I guess you can call it. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah, congratulations that's to him. Yeah. That's it's awesome. That's a lot if, you play, if you play the board game Life, it's like an awesome part of that game because you get your little people you can put in your little car and drive around. <laughs> yeah. I'd imagine it's like kind of like that in real life. You just put a little 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 guy in a little car. Essentially. Yeah. A little toy car. I really wish we had like another monitor, but like we said, we're we're streaming this pretty much off oh, of Nokia off. phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's, and, it's, and it's it's single been rough. stream. Yeah, it's been string, rough. string. <laughs> we haven't been able to open up any additional windows. Right. We're already. I don't know if the stream quality's gotten better. I think it has because it's been yeah, on it's, green it's this for, whole time. It's been green for a long time. Yeah, we could probably try to up it a little bit. But uh, yeah, that would be cool. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can do that. We're back to a mecha mecha mirror. Anything's possible. Let us know if that gets a little bit better on your end, guys. Yeah, it should it should improve here just a, in a bit. Uh, it looks and like it's. And for the finals, we'll still see if uh, if we want to just amp it up a little bit. Yeah. My <laughs> is a bundle of terror. <laughs> little bundle of terror. <laughs> Like I said, we uh, we increased the quality a little bit, guys. Let us know how that looks. It might go up a little bit more. I don't know. I don't want to write straight to red as soon as I said that. Yeah, right? It's like red, <laughs> error, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Crash. Absolutely. absolutely. Sado, uh, Sado's, uh, Sado's, Sado's lead. Trash lady. Yeah, she, she I'm telling like, you. She hasn't been around. Yeah, yeah, nowhere. yeah. She's been. She goes yeah. out of the freaking She's fog. Been, yeah. She's everywhere but nowhere. All at the same time. All at the same time. Oh, nice. Good job. Oh, bit, snap. Yeah. So, breaking news, Eon Hill wins game two over George. Thank you for that update. Yeah. It's now 1-1, one one, guys. That's huge. 1-1, one and one, right? We'll see if this game evens up to a 1-1, one one, or is Boris going to take a 2-0 and make it to the finals? E I'll tell you what. E Elon, like, going undefeated is a, hu is a huge deal. Guys. Yes. I'll tell you what. The Hill Twins, they've been putting in some work. Or it's not a two life here. Again, trying to put as much pressure uh, on the Apes player as he can before before William can uh, can really get going with too many blockers. It's really it's a lot harder uh, for Boris to break through once William has had time to develop his board with either multiple marches or a King Vegeta. Uh, King Vegeta is a very devastating card against uh, Veggies because ve a lot of Veggies combo power is something we haven't talked about, George. But a lot of Veggie's combo power is actually 5K. They're all 5K. Yeah, yeah. And, and so that's why like Justin decided to go with the build that he that he went with because he, he played like a, a heavy Broly engine, uh -huh. and the heavy Broly's the the five drop and the six drop are both 10K combos. Sure. So it, it helps you go a little bit deeper sometimes. Yeah. Uh, normally you don't have that extra energy, but it gives you an option for the late game. And in worst case, it's just an energy.
Horus still has the ability to do so much damage this turn, though. It's actually absurd. I love watching Veggies play. The amount of freaking cards they can put out, the amount of damage they can do, it's just so much fun to watch. Man, I'm a little biased. But it's my favorite deck to watch. It's, my, it's, actually, it's actually my favorite deck to play currently, too. That Trunks is a huge part He's of so it. so cool. He's so and good. it's just so insane. He's Being so able to play five super combos. I mean, sure, you can't play eight, like, apes. He's only but overwhelm four as well. Yeah. I mean, obviously, two energy is a lot to yeah, pay two, for. Yeah, but, two energy is a lot. Yeah. But, uh, it's a bean away. That, that's what I like to say. When I, when, I hear, when I see two energy, I'm just like, that's a bean away, my friend. That's one bean away. Trash guy just walked right by. <laughs> did he not? He did. He did. And they keep switching. He keeps switching. It's like we're not going to notice. Right? Right? It's like, we're, oh, no, we're, we're on to you, San Jose. We, we, we got we to gotta, gotta stop spamming the female trash lady. Yeah, we we yeah. got to go with the male. Go, yeah, blend in, blend in. The male, mid, right. mid, mid aged, middle aged. Yeah, we, are, we are on to you, no. San Jose. If you And we know you're listening. We're, I'm also talking to. Maybe the, the table's bugged. We know you're listening. No, you know, yeah, some, so something's bugged. They, they have to be watching the stream. With this many viewers, there's no way that they're not watching the stream. Yeah. At least, like, five of them. They might be playing. It's possible. Maybe, <laughs> they're, maybe they're playing the 1K this whole time. They're probably just playing the 1K. <laughs> you know what? Absolutely. All right. See so what Boris is going to swing in here with. He's going to swing in with Kaba. Trying to get his opponent down to two life, it appears. Obviously, guys, two life, very dangerous area to be in. Very dangerous area to be in. Gesh into Kale. Pretty good. Can you like the, uh, link the challenge in the in the chat again? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll go do it right now. Uh, let me check, guys. I checked for you. Um, Boris sacrificed his trunks with the kill. So w whenever he Shagesh in the kill, he sacrificed the uh, trunks he already attacked with. So that's what he sacrificed with. Tell you what, Boris able to get his opponent down to one life last turn. Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive.
Uh, there was no, there was nothing, guys. We just we just uh, wanted to clarify what got uh, what got uh, killed with uh, Shigesh. We weren't sure exactly what was uh, what was uh, killed, so we just want to double check. Yeah, I think it was asked. Someone asked. Uh, we weren't one hundred percent, so we want someone to double check and make sure we got the uh, got the right uh, what to call out for you guys. Okay, so the first attack coming in. It's 20, goes up to 30 with the Shigesh. See what William decides to put into play here. Another kill. Yeah, top four is all mechas. I think we have um, monkeys, 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 and and the last standing veggies is Boris, unless right, right. that's unless that's the hills opponent. Right. The hill twins opponent, whatever he's playing, and then the hill brother himself is playing uh, apes. Um, Boris's opponent is playing apes, and Boris himself is playing veggies. Right. Right. Hmm. 
Okay, it looks like William might be going all in on this. Yeah, I'm sure he realizes that he probably can't survive next turn. Maybe. To game three. Oh snap! Yep, yeah, no, just went all in. Yeah, I mean, I think he, he realized he was dead next turn. Yeah, he had to. I think it's a match over. The Boris won. Yeah, Boris won, I think. Yeah, Boris won. Did Boris win? The, the Boris won, right? Boris won. Huh? The game's over? Yeah, the match is over. He lost on like a 35 k Boris said he got greedy. And he also had a, a go 10 board. What? Because he said it's good energy. The Boris not win game one? No, he did. He did. Oh, so what are they doing right now? Why, do they, why does he have his cards all the way That was game two. Right, why does he have his cards oh, all the way That was game two? That was game two. Oh, I guess he out comboed. I guess he out comboed then. Or said what? he lost a match. There's no judges. There was, there was the head judge was just, yeah, the was just over there. So the Boris like, oh, lose like, game one? I guess so. He must have just out comboed and tapped. Because he had King Vegeta. He had a body in play. He had a King Vegeta in play. Hey guys, we're ch checking out. I'm sorry. I've been watching chat, guys. I'm sorry. I've been watching uh, chat really heavily. Uh, go, yeah, let's go, go, go see what's happening. <laughs> No, he must have. He had to. Have. My guess is we just didn't see the because he needed he needed four ten Ks, so he, we saw three. Oh right. yeah. I guess maybe he just played a fourth and packed because he had a King Vegeta in play. But he said he lost the match. Oh okay, yeah, I see. Yeah. yeah okay. He, he, yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. So what happened was William won the first game. So yeah. So William won two out. Oh. 